Thanks for tuning in. I'm Brock Page, and if you want to save yourself some time, check out my picks for this video in the description section below. Once again, I have to remind you that I am not a sports betting expert, nor do I implore you to take any of my picks. A wise man once said, good ain't free, and free ain't good. If for some reason you decide to use the information on this program, you're utilizing it at your own discretion. And with that said, let's go ahead and get into some picks for March 8th. First game I have for you, it is going to be Chicago at Orlando. The betting opened up with Chicago as the two-point favorites with the total points at an even 203. Since then, Chicago is now minus one and a half against the spread with the total points remaining at an even 203. Currently, the Bulls are laying 125 on the money line, and at the moment, 69% of the money's on the Chicago Bulls to get the job done against the spread. Speaking of the Bulls, they have successfully covered the spread against Orlando in their previous two matchups. They're facing an Orlando team who's covered just 9 of 32 at home. They're also covering just 33% of their games at the current point spread. In addition to that, Orlando has covered just 7 of 20 games as the official home underdog. When facing teams around 500, Orlando's covered just 41% of the time. And when facing teams allowing more than 102 a game, the Magic's just 36% against the spread. When it comes to the total points, both teams are collectively averaging 207 total combined points in their previous four games, respectively. Orlando, or, <laughs> excuse me, Orlando games have also gone over the line in their last two straight. All that said, I'm in full agreement with the betters in taking Chicago minus one and a half against the spread. When it comes to the total points, I'm taking the over 203. And when it comes to the money line cash, I'm taking Chicago to win this one outright. Next game I have for you, it is going to be Brooklyn plus nine and a half at Atlanta. Total points are at an even 219. Currently, the Hawks are laying 540 on the money line, and at the moment, 73% of the betters think Atlanta will get the job done against the spread. Speaking of the Hawks, they unfortunately have not been getting the job done against the number, covering just 40% of their games at home. They've also covered just 18 of 44 as the favorite. In addition to that, Atlanta's covering just 41% as the official home favorite. They've also covered just 10 of 28 versus teams winning less than 45%. When it comes to the total points, both teams are collectively averaging 222 total combined points in their last four games, respectively. Brooklyn games have also gone over the line in their last three straight. On the other side, Atlanta games have gone over the line themselves in two of their last three. All that said, I am in full disagreement with the betters, and I'm taking Brooklyn plus nine and a half to get the job done against the spread. When it comes to the total points, I'm taking the over 219. And when it comes to the money line cash, I'm taking Atlanta, winning this one outright at home. I'm also adjusting the line and taking Brooklyn plus 19 and a half in my 10 point sweetheart super teaser. Next game, Charlotte at Miami. The betting opened up with Miami as the four-point favorites with the total points at 207. Since then, Miami still remains minus four against the spread with the total points dropping down to 204 and a half. The Miami Heat are laying 175 on the money line and currently 67% of the money's on Miami to get the job done against the spread. Speaking of Miami, they're covering a respectable 69% of their games as the official home favorite. They're facing a Charlotte team who's covered just 8 of 21 as the underdog. They're also covering just 44% of their games at the current point spread. When it comes to the total points, both teams are collectively averaging 211 total combined points in their last four games respectively. All that said, I'm in full agreement with the betters on this one, and I am taking Miami minus four against the spread. When it comes to the total points, I'm taking the over 211. And when it comes to the money line cash, I'm taking the Miami Heat, winning this one outright at home. Next game I have for you, it is going to be Utah at Houston. 
The betting opened up with Houston as the five and a half point favorites with the total points at an even 216. Since then, Houston's now minus six and a half against the spread with the total points dropping down to 214 and a half. Currently, Houston's laying 270 on the money line. And at the moment, 68% of the money's on Houston to get the job done against the spread. Speaking of Houston, they've successfully covered the spread in their last three games. They're facing a Utah team who covers just 33% of their games as the underdog or pick them. They've also gone 0 for 4 in games at the current point spread. In addition to that, Utah's covered just 13 of 30 on the road. Even worse, the Utah Jazz cover a measly 23% of their games as the official road underdog. They've also covered just 9 of 23 against teams winning over 55% of their games. When it comes to the total points, both teams are collectively averaging just 211 total combined points in their last four games respectively. Houston games have also gone over the line just once out of their last four. All that said, I'm in full agreement with the betters, and I'm taking Houston minus 6.5 against the spread. When it comes to the total points, I'm taking the under 214.5. And, and when it comes to the money line cash, I'm taking the Houston Rockets winning this one outright. Next game I have for you, Detroit at Indiana. The betting opened up with Indiana as the 3.5 point favorites with the total points at 205. Since then, Indiana remains minus three and a half against the spread, with the total points jumping up to an even 206. Currently, the Indiana Pacers are laying 165 on the money line, and at the moment, 73% of the betters are taking the Pacers to get the job done against the number. Speaking of Indiana, they've successfully covered an impressive three out of three games against the Pistons earlier this season. They're facing a Detroit team who's covered just 12 of 31 on the road this year. As the underdog or pick'em, Detroit's covering just 37% in that category as well. In addition to those numbers, the Detroit Pistons covered just 28% of their games at the current point spread. They've also covered just 7 of 22 games as the official road underdog. When it comes to the total points, both teams are collectively averaging 210 total combined points in their last four games respectively. All that said, I'm in full agreement with the betters and I am taking the Indiana Pacers minus three and a half against the spread. When it comes to the total points, I'm taking the over 206. And when it comes to the money line cash, I'm taking Indiana winning this one outright at home. Next game I have for you, it is going to be New York plus five at Milwaukee with the total points dropping down to 211 and a half. Currently Milwaukee's laying 208 on the money line and at the moment 55% of the money's on Milwaukee to win against the spread. Speaking of the Bucks, they've done a pretty bad job against the number covering just 28% of their games at the current point spread. They're also covering just 39% as the favorite. In addition to that, Milwaukee covers just 38% as the official home favorite. The Bucs have also covered just 7 of 23 games against teams winning less than 45%. When it comes to the total points, both teams are collectively averaging just 207 total combined points in their last four games respectively. Both teams' games have also gone under the line in three of their last four. All that said, I'm in full disagreement with the betters and I'm taking the New York Knicks plus 5 against the spread. When it comes to the total points, I'm taking the under 211.5. And, and when it comes to the money line cash, I'm taking the Milwaukee Bucks, winning this one outright in a close one. I'm also moving the line and taking New York plus 15 in my 10 point teaser number one. Next game LA Clippers minus three at Minnesota with the total points at an even 211. Currently, the Clippers are laying 153 on the money line. And at the time being, 69% of the betters are taking the Clippers against the spread. Speaking of the Clippers, they've done a lackluster job of covering on the road, going just 48% against the spread. As the official road favorite, LA's covered just 9 of 21 games. They're facing a Minnesota team who successfully covered the spread in their last 
six games straight. When it comes to the total points, both teams have collectively averaged just 210 total combined points in their previous four games respectively. Both teams have also played in games going under the line in three of their last four. All that said, I'm in full disagreement once again with the betters, and I'm taking Minnesota plus three against the spread. When it comes to the total points, I'm taking the under to 11. And when it comes to the money line cash, I'm taking the LA Clippers, winning this one outright in a real tight one. I'm also adjusting the line and taking Minnesota plus 13 as the third pick of my teaser number one. Next game, Toronto at New Orleans. The betting opened up with New Orleans as the one and a half point favorites with the, <laughs> excuse me, with the total points at 201 and a half. Since then, the New Orleans Pelicans are now minus two against the spread with the total points jumping up to 203 and a half. Currently, the Pelicans are laying 140 on the money line. And at the time being, 55% of the money's on Toronto to get the job done against the spread. Speaking of Toronto, they're covering a solid 71% of their games as the official road underdog. They're facing a New Orleans team who covers just 42% of their games as the favorite. The Pelicans are also covering just 44% of their games at the current point spread. In addition to that, New Orleans covers just 40% of their games as the official home favorite. When it comes to the total points, both teams are collectively averaging just 195 total combined points in their last four games respectively. New Orleans games have also gone under the line in their last four straight. On the other side, Toronto games have gone under the line themselves in three of their last four. All that said, I'm in full agreement with the betters, and I'm taking Toronto plus two against the spread. When it comes to the total points, I'm taking the under 203 and a half. And when it comes to the money line cash, I'm taking Toronto, winning this one outright. I'm also adjusting the line and taking Toronto plus 12 as the fourth and final pick of my 10-point teaser number one. Next game, Sacramento at San Antonio. The betting opened up with San Antonio as the 16-point favorites with the total points at 198 and a half. Since then, the San Antonio Spurs are now minus 15 against the spread with the total points jumping up to an even 200. Currently, the Spurs are laying 2,500 on the money line, and at the time being, 57% uh, of the betters are taking San Antonio to get the job done against the spread. Speaking of San Antonio, they failed to successfully cover the number in their previous two meetings with the Kings. They've also covered just 13 of 28 as the official home favorite. And although San Antonio has won eight straight games, they failed to cover the spread in any of their last four. When it comes to the total points, both teams are collectively averaging 204 total combined points in their last four games respectively. All that said, I'm in full disagreement with the betters, and I'm taking Sacramento plus 15 against the spread. When it comes to the total points, I'm taking the over 204. And when it comes to the money line cash, I got to take the San Antonio Spurs winning this one outright at home. I'm also adjusting the line and taking the Sacramento Kings plus 25 in my 10-point teaser number two. Next game I have for you, Washington plus one at Denver with the total points at an even 227. When it comes to the spread, Washington covers a solid 75% of their games against teams around 500. They're also covering a respectable 67% of their games at the current point spread. They're facing a Denver team who failed to cover in their first meeting. Speaking of the Nuggets, they've covered just 8 of 21 games versus teams winning more than 55%. Before last night's action, both teams were collectively averaging just 216 total combined points in their previous four games respectively. Denver games have also gone under the line in their last three straight. All that said, I'm taking the Washington Wizards plus one, getting the job done against the spread. When it comes to the total points, I'm taking the under 227. And when it comes to the money line cash, I'm taking Washington, winning this one on the road. I'm also adjusting the line and taking Washington plus 11 
in the second pick of teaser number two. In addition to that, I'm moving the line once again and taking the under 237 in my 10-point teaser number two as well. Next game, it's going to be my final game for you for this show. It's going to be Boston at Golden State. The betting opened up with Golden State as the 7.5-point favorites with the total points at 224. Since then, Golden State is now minus 8.5 against the spread with the total points dropping down to 222.5. Currently, the Warriors are laying 400 on the money line. Speaking of Golden State, they're facing a Boston team who's failed to win and cover in their last two straight. The Celtics have failed to cover in three games at the current point spread. They've also covered just 43% versus teams, allowing more than 102 a game. In addition to all that, Boston has also failed to cover in their first meeting with Golden State. When it comes to the total points, both teams have collectively averaged just 211 total combined points in their previous four games respectively. Golden State games have also gone under the line in three of their last four. On the other side, Boston games have not gone over the line in their last eight straight. They have not gone over in their last eight straight. All that said, I'm taking the Golden State Warriors minus eight and a half, winning this one against the spread. When it comes to the total points, I'm taking the under 222 and a half. And when it comes to the money line cash, I'm taking Golden State winning this one outright at home. I'm also adjusting the line and taking the under 232 and a half as the fourth and final pick of teaser number two. Just a reminder, my 10 point sweetheart super teasers pay five to six and get graded as a loss should any team result in a push. You can find this exotic wager in several online sports books and in the state of Delaware. Well, folks, that is going to do it for me. Once again, I have to remind you that I am not a sports betting expert, nor do I implore you to take any of my picks. A wise man once said, good ain't free and free ain't good. If for some reason you decide to use the information on this program, you're utilizing it at your own discretion. Most importantly, if you're betting any of these games, do it safe, do it responsibly, and most important, have fun. For Brock Page Predictions and Sports Picks, I'm Brock Page, and have yourself a positive day.